They all get housing. No, no. They get housing. They get food. They get making. housing. They get food. Now think about that. They yeah. get housing. They get food. They get transportation to work. I'm, I'm not. It's it's little to no crime over there. No, no. So on the latest episode of Brilliant Idiots, my God, Charlemagne really showed not only his true colors, but also how ignorant he can be. There's really no nicer way to put it. For context, Charlemagne recently visited Abu Dhabi and it left a big impression on him. He really liked the culture, the food, the luxury. And when he came back, he thought we in America might be getting a lot of things wrong on a human level. And and proceeds to complement their system of modern day slavery. These guys will sometimes have wild takes and play devil's advocate just for laughs, but on this topic, Charlemagne really did look like an idiot. When these migrants arrive in Abu Dhabi or Dubai, their passports are taken away, they're trapped. The amount they earn is sometimes up to 50% less than what they've been promised, and the working conditions are obviously horrible. A lot of these workers instantly regret signing up for the job, but Charlemagne is oblivious to that. He takes what his host told him in Abu Dhabi at face value. Thank God Schultz pushed back and said, you know, well dude, these conditions aren't great and there's no upward mobility. And Charlemagne's response is, yeah, but there's no poor people. And and they get fed and they have a place to live. That's literally an argument a slave owner would have. 15 years ago, it was just desert. Yeah. In a lot of those places in Abu Dhabi. And yeah, they, they, they built, built it up they, in they built an incredible fashion. I don't know, man. I just feel like we might be getting a lot of things wrong here. Like, for example? Mm. I think we're getting things wrong on a human level. What do you mean? Not, not so much, you know... I mean, of course, systems need to change, but I just think those systems would automatically change if you had humans who were willing to change them. Like, like If you what? had humans who had more empathy... If you had humans who actually care about humanity. You, you know, I think there's things you could criticize about all of them. There's amazing things about out there. Then there's things that out there that like we would look at and we'd be like, yo, this ain't even for us. Like, you know, the, the labor force out there has no upward mobility at all. Now, they're getting an opportunity that they wouldn't have in their home countries. A lot of them come from Pakistan, for example. But like the way that the system is built is not so they can become citizens and eventually own a business. Like what we know as a system, the capitalist system in America, their system is you're going to work this job for as long as you come working here. And you're never going to be part of society as more than someone who works. But correct me if I'm wrong. Cause somebody broke that down to me. They all get housing. No, no, they get housing. They get food. They get making. housing. They get food. Now think about that. They yeah. get housing. They get food. They get transportation to work. I'm, I'm not. It's it's little to no crime over there. No, no. The, the of course, of course, because there's no people. <laughs> there's no poor people. That's my point. <laughs> but there are also things that, as a Westerner, you look at and you go, "Oh, that's weird for me to see." Because the idea of America is you can come here with nothing and then make something of yourself. And, then, and, then, and that that can't happen over there. And in the process of making something of yourself. You're not doing anything with your life and you end up doing dumb shit <laughs> that fucks up society for all of us. Yes, so yes. All I'm saying is, yeah. maybe we need a little labor force. Maybe we need- provide some housing, <laughs> now some you're talking, food. That you kind of talking what white people was talking back in the day. No, 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 no. It's very no, close. You're treated like a human being. No, 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 being. no, 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 no. You are, uh, like, for example, I'll just tell you, my driver there, he works seven days a week and what they do is they make them take one month off where you get paid. I think he made $700 US- A week? A month. No, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 700, whatever it is. What's their currency? No, it's 700 US a month. No, no, yeah, it's 190 US a week. So Something it's 700 like there. Whatever their currency is, it's 700, but it's $190 Seven a week. Seven days a week. Yeah, so that's about right. That's about 700 yeah. a month. Yeah, they're making yeah. like $2 an hour. You got housing. <laughs> Food. It's what white people said, baby. I'm just saying. This is what white people said. Housing, food, transportation, and freedom. Where you actually don't it? have is food. Is that freedom? Yes, I wear Why is it not freedom? It's like they just pay they for you to and work, and that's it. You just you only here. send it back to their, their their homeland. Yeah, but so their freedom is Listen, just I'm, going to work and coming home and sleeping and Listen, going to work and coming home sleeping. Ow, that's not freedom. What is our lives? Oh. There's people right now cold as hell sitting what on people? the streets of New York, We're begging for change, don't have a place to stay, don't have food. They would love to work somewhere. No, they wouldn't. You crazy? Get those jobs right now. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But housing, Chris? Housing's different. Come on! Y'all talking about the job. We're talking about the housing. Do you know what the housing is? I don't know. Eight guys in a room, bunk beds. Hey, man, it's better. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell so, 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 what is the shelter here in New York? 
that. So then you can't have housing here. Listen, here. I, I've said on this podcast a million times, man. Might have a little bit too much freedom. Yo, <laughs> like some son, people here son, are just guy, simply not this capable guy's good. of thinking for themselves. South of the Mason Dixon, bro. I'm not just telling you the truth. South it's interesting because the last episode of Flagrant, the topic of these oil rich Arab states came up and they talked about how they have to use good PR to change the perception in the West. And then the next episode of Brilliant Idiots, Charlemagne, fresh off his trip from Abu Dhabi, is acting like he's seen heaven and is praising their lifestyle. This episode was also interesting because the topic of the Diddy assault accusations came up. Charlemagne seems like he's again on the fence, which is kind of awkward because it feels like everyone else in the room is quietly thinking like, obviously Diddy is guilty. I saw people saying how there's a lot of people not talking about this situation. And this is what I would say. Hmm. What are you supposed to say? Because mm -hmm. if you're a podcaster, if you're a YouTuber, if you're just a person on social media, you can say all types of stuff. Mm. You know what I mean? When people say things like, yo, you know, nobody's talking about this, it's because what y'all want people to say is, oh, he did that shit. You know? The he did sir. that shit. You want us to sound like the internet. Yeah. And you want us to start talking about, you know, well, I heard he did this then, and I heard he did that then. The reality of the situation is, you can't do anything except for report about what actually came out mm. in this situation. He got sued. He settled. For all of it? I don't know. I, I, I don't heard know. all of it. Well, if he did, I think the, the, com the conversation we could have without, you know, uh, becoming products of a lawsuit ourselves. Well, we could just say allegedly for everything right now and then we could start having fun again. But even with that, <laughs> but even with that, what's the, or even with that, what's the point of that? If you guys weren't aware, Diddy's company Revolt had a deal with The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne's radio show with DJ Envy. So they've known each other for a long time and I guess they must be friends because Charlemagne refuses to say a bad thing about Diddy. I remember when the news broke about the lawsuit, I was curious to see how Charlotte would react. And basically all he said was, well, we don't know what happened so we shouldn't comment on it. Like you're a morning radio show which basically covers hip hop culture and most of all gossip. This is one of the most powerful and famous men in hip hop who's been accused of abusing his R&B singer wife for years and that's your response. Now his reasoning is that he wants to avoid a defamation lawsuit from Diddy. As if in a million years Diddy is going to sue Charlemagne the God for him giving an opinion on a scandal as big as this. I get that it's his friend and he just doesn't want to comment on it. There's a clear bias there because this is the same guy that would give his opinion on any scandal or rumor. A part of what made Charlemagne the God so popular is that he would just say the craziest things to guests on The Breakfast Club. Sometimes you can tell he just wants to be funny. And I remember Schultz saying something like that to him, like he's a bit of a comedian in a sense. He tries to say outrageous things with a straight face and his guests feel uncomfortable and think he's being serious, which makes for great content. But that's not what he was doing in this episode. He was being sincere about the workers in Abu Dhabi. Let me know in the comments what you think of this episode. If you enjoyed this, hit the like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching.